separately. And now, Boba Fett, Star Wars villain with his laser rifle. Boba Fett is not yet available in stores, but you can get him free with four proofs of purchase from any Star Wars action figures. Details on specially marked packs at participating stores. Offer ends May 31st. Star Wars action figures sold separately from Kenner. What's up, guys? It's your boy, PJ the Paradox Nerd, back again with another video. And today I'll be doing an unboxing and review of the Hot Toys MMS 571 Vintage Color Boba Fett from the Empire Strikes Back movie. So guys, I decided to change the format a little by showcasing the box art on a turntable before I unbox the figure. I'm only doing this for Hot Toys Vintage Star Wars figures because I wanted to show you guys how awesome the packaging is. And uh, as you can see, Hot Toys definitely captured the nostalgia and essence of the classic vintage Star Wars box art from back in the day. And yeah, I am really debating if I should open up this figure. But I think I will because I love you guys and I also want to see how cool this figure is. So let's get straight to it. But before I jump into the unboxing, I want to give the boys from Rogue One 6 a plug. If you guys love high-end Star Wars collectibles such as Star Wars prop replicas, Hot Toys, and statues, Definitely check them out on their YouTube channel. All right, guys, enough of the small talk. Let's open up this bad boy up right now. All right, guys, so before we unbox Boba, let's check out the box art. And as you can see, this is an awesome looking box art. I absolutely love the retro Kenner card backstop packaging. And as you can see, the box has a window here in the front showcasing the figure inside. Uh, you have a picture of Boba shooting at his flamethrower. You have the iconic chrome border all around the box. And as we flip it to its side here, you have more pictures of Boba. You actually have a bio of Boba Fett himself. Uh, more pictures of Boba here in the back. Same here on the side. Really loving this box art. I do want to mention that the box itself is pretty thick. So pretty awesome. All right. Let's open up this bad boy. All right, the moment of truth, guys. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to play with this figure. Oh man. Oh my goodness. Look at that, guys. Wow. Look at the paint job on this figure. Damn, that looks so cool. The paint has like a matte finish to it. Damn, this looks so awesome, guys. Look at the gauntlets, look at that. How nice and bright it is. Oh, the yellow, the yellow color should I say. Damn, look at the reds too, man. Damn, this is awesome. Wow. All right, let's put that to the side. Let's see what else you get. Oh, I see his jetpack here. Oh my goodness. Look at this jetpack. Same matte finish. The, uh, the rocket itself is painted red. Man, this looks so cool, guys. Unfortunately, they didn't put a magnet on the, uh, the jetpack, so you kind of have to do it the old school way, you know, where you kind of have to hook it at the back of the figure, which is gonna be really annoying. Come on, Hot Toys, you gotta improve on this thing, man. All right, let's see what else you get. You get his EE3 rifle. You get his pistol. I forgot the name of this pistol. Man, it's something Sacral K11. I'm not too sure. I'll look it up when I'm editing this video. But look at that, guys. The paint looks awesome awesome it's painted bright red 
which is really cool. Let's put that to the side. And let's see what else you get here. Uh, I think this might be his tools. Don't want to lose it. Oh, yep, there it goes. All right, let me put this to the side so I don't lose it. And here is the base, and I think that's it. Well, you got a bunch of hands here. Let's check out the hands real quick. Wow, look at that color of the gloves here. That's awesome. All right. And I think that's about it. Here's the nameplate. Okay. Um, but yeah, pretty simple base. Damn, they didn't even give us like an extra graphic card where it says like, I don't know, vintage or uh, 40th anniversary of Empire Strikes Back. I don't know. That would have been pretty cool. But this is just a simple... <laughs> Uh, base okay all right <laughs> okay hot toys <laughs> but yeah this boba looks awesome guys i know he's just a repaint but still look at the paint job it looks amazing it pops and yeah i can't wait to do the review and that should be coming up right now. Alright guys, so let's start this review by going over the accessories that he comes with. Let's go over the boring stuff first and let's check out the, the hands. And you get a pair of fisted hands here or fisted gloves. And as you can see, the gloves are sculpted well. I love the color that they use. Definitely matches with the rest of his outfit. And let's put that to the side. Get a pair of gesturing hands, a left rifle holding hand. And for the next boring accessory that he comes with, you get a Death Star 4 base, which has been used over and over again in past previous Star Wars releases. Kind of wish we got like an extra base plate that said like 40th anniversary of Empire Strikes Back, or maybe like a vintage theme base plate that would have been cool but we got another <laughs> uh, Death Star base 
and uh, yeah, <laughs> really boring. All right, guys, so let's get down to the good stuff and uh, let's check out his EE3 rifle. And as you can see, this rifle is weathered really well, painted really well, sculpted really well, has a lot of detail, especially here in the buttstock. Man, this is an awesome looking rifle. You also get this pistol, and as you can see, it is painted really well. I love how the red goes with the silver. But man, I keep drawing a blank on the name of this damn pistol. <laughs> I think it's the Sarl, not the Sarlacc, Sacral, Sacral, K K11. Oh man, I forgot. But I'll look it up. He also comes with this jetpack. Love the matte finish to it. Love how the red pops on the missile. And also love the silver on his jet boosters here. But my only gripe is that they didn't put a magnet on this jetpack, so we're resorting to the old school way in hanging the jetpack on his back, which is really, really annoying. I'm not gonna do it now because it's gonna take forever. But yeah, you get the point. You also get four tools, which goes in the bottom of his pants. And if you read the instruction manual, it will tell you where to put these tools. So Hot Toys did a really cool thing with the instruction manual. So if you open up the instruction manual, it actually turns into a nice little Empire Strikes Back poster. That looks really cool. And if you flip the instruction manual, you could see how to put the tools on his pants. So really loving this instruction manual. I wish they do this with future figures. That would be totally cool. All right, guys, so let's check out the articulation for this figure and let's start off with the head. So the head and neck are on the ball joint. So you have really good range of motion here. As you can see, you can look down, look up, tilt from side to side, turn his head from side to side also. I do want to mention that you could actually move his range finder just like so. Now moving on to the shoulder joints, you could bring his arm out just about 80 degrees. You can bring it forward just about 90 degrees as you can see, and then bring it back just about 90 degrees also. Uh, there's some swivel in the bicep as you can see, and you could bend his elbow way past 90 degrees just like so. Now moving on to the torso area, unfortunately because of his armor, very limited range of motion around the torso area. So you can only turn his torso just about five to 10 degrees from side to side. You can do a little bit of ab crunch, but not by much. Now moving on to the hip joints, you can bring his hip out just about 30 degrees. You can bring it forward just about I would say 20 to 30 degrees, and then you can bring it back just about 10 to 15 degrees. Now with the knee joint, you can bend it way past 90 degrees because it's double jointed. Now for the ankle joint, there is some swivel to it because it's on a ball joint, so you could swivel it from side to side, you could swivel it around, you could bring it forward, bring it back, and I would say you could bring it forward just about, I would say 10 to 20 degrees. You can bring it back just about five to 10 degrees, but pretty good uh, articulation for this figure. All right, guys, so let's check out the helmet design for this vintage style Boba. And as you can see, it is the exact same helmet design as the Empire Strikes Back version. The only difference is, is that it is painted differently. <laughs> but man, look at the paint job on this helmet. Really loving the red and how vibrant it is, makes it pop. Love the matte finish on the helmet. Man, they just did a really good job with the paintwork on this helmet. Would love to have like, like a life-size prop replica of this, uh, of this vintage style helmet. That'd be so cool, right? But yeah, let's move on down to the rest of the figure. As we move down the figure and check out the rest of his armor here, you can see that everything else is the same, just painted differently. <laughs> I 
Again, you have that same matte look on his armor. Love how the gauntlets look. You see how nice and bright and vibrant the yellow is on this left gauntlet. And with the right gauntlet, you can see that the red is vibrant as well. I do want to mention that his utility belt is made out of like some sort of pleather like material. Looks really, really good. But yeah, this figure looks so good, guys. I'm telling you, don't miss out on this figure. If you are a Boba Fett fan, this is a must own. Moving down towards the legs here, you can see that the pants are tailored really well. They use high quality fabric to stitch these pants together. Really love the knee armor. I love how it has like a nice vibrant yellow color to it. Definitely matches the, the left gauntlet and the shoulder armor. Makes the, the figure pop out more. But overall guys, this is a really nice looking figure. Really surprised in how good this turned out. All right, so here is my final verdict for the Hot Toys Vintage Color Boba Fett. If you are a Boba Fett fan, this is a no-brainer. If you are a vintage Star Wars collector, this also is a no-brainer. Hot Toys did a fantastic job with this release, even though it is a repaint of the Empire Strikes Back version. I really love the paint scheme of this figure because it brings back that nostalgia feeling of when we used to play with the old Kenner 3 and 3 quarter inch figures. I am so happy that Hot Toys are giving us these Star Wars vintage style figures and I really hope they continue this line with other characters such as Bespin Han, Luke, and Leia. Now the only two gripes I have with this figure is the fact that the jetpack doesn't have a magnet and the figure doesn't come with an E11 blaster like the old Kenner Boba Fett figure. Besides that, this is a must own in your collection and I can definitely see this figure going for a pretty penny once it sells out on Sideshow. All right guys, so that wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoyed my unboxing and review. If you did, please smash that like button and comment down below letting me know what your thoughts are on this figure. And also if you love hot toys, statues, Star Wars, and really bad dad jokes, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and always remember to do what you love, love what you collect. Take care guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.